Well, the twins are up for sale. The owner released yep. a statement saying it was time. Uh, his name is Carl Polad. I believe I'm saying that right. If not, then let me know, Twins fans. Um, mm-hmm. But he bought the Twins in 1984 for $44 million. Seems like a bargain in today's market. That's cheap. <laughs> if, I, if I was an owner, I might take out a loan for 40 but that's not how that works. They don't let you do that anymore. Right, right, right. Right off the Dodgers <laughs> yeah. fiasco, right? But yeah, anyway. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, but this is the thing: is the current estimated worth of the franchise is one and a half billion to two billion dollars. I figure that's not a bad ROI if you've been sitting oh, on that yeah. team for forty years. Yeah, not bad. It is pretty good. A couple World Series wins in there. Okay, so this is the question, though, is I don't know exactly who's in line to potentially buy the team. Maybe A Rod's group. They're trying to buy the Timberwolves. They are. So maybe they, if they don't get the T Wolves, maybe they'll go into baseball. You mean back into baseball because they back tried to buy the Mets, right? It didn't work. It didn't work, but who's to say this one won't? Right. right. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I think in it's that, interesting. In that arrangement, A Rod held like the smallest percentages, right? Because he's the poor guy in the group. Yep. Yep, the athlete exactly is always right. going to be the poor guy in the group, but they have them yep. there as basically the spokesman and the relationship guy to get yep. into the sports world and all that stuff. So their role is not the money. It's kind of the liaison, which I think makes sense. However, I will say Cal Ripken Jr. is fulfilling both of those roles and doing a better job than I think A-Rod would with Baltimore. Uh. Well, yeah, it's a personality thing. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, we shouldn't like, really be That's surprised. exactly what I'm saying. I don't, <laughs> I don't think there's a question about certain people's character, <laughs> depending on how you want to split this hair. So, so this is one of the things, though, Brig, is that anytime there's talk of a team selling, one of the questions that has to come up is relocation. And part of this is because there are cities in this country that desperately want major league baseball, Portland, For Salt sure. Lake, Nashville. I don't know if Charlotte's one of those teams that desperately wants it, it is. but it would sure work. Yep. It, they are. And it would work. And don't forget Orlando. There's that one guy with the pipe dream. In right. Orlando. Yeah. You're right. How could I forget Orlando? Of course, the dreamers, <laughs> the dreamers they are dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, it's a pipe so, dream. So let's talk about this. Let's we'll ask this in just a minute too. Do you think with the twins there is a potential for relocation if they sell or when they sell? Nope. 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 I absolutely agree with you. There is no reason to move that team. They have a strong fan base. They have a relatively new stadium that's yep. really super duper freaking nice, by the way. Everybody says it's just fabulous. It's a fantastic ballpark. I loved yeah. every minute of being in that place. So yeah. No reason for the Twins to move. Twins fans, don't worry. You're staying put. I think if <laughs> if Major League Baseball let the Twins move, oh, 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 man. Rob Manfred should be tried for war crimes, in my opinion. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and treason. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly right. Like, no, absolutely not. That would be yeah. a travesty. It I'm would not be. having it. Okay, so let's move on to the, the other team that's for sale now. The White Sox have a for sale sign in their yard. Uh, Jerry Reinsdorf, just within the last day or so, has decided it's time. He bought the White Sox in 1981 for $20 million. Current estimated Ooh. value of the franchise is $2.05 billion. Again, not a bad ROI. That's pretty good. So I, I can't I, believe I think... the White Sox are worth more than the Twins. It's the market. I know, but it's still shocking. Like, Despite the fact that they're... Could you... Let me look real quick. What's the value of the Cubs? Oh, the Cubs are... Because... The Cubs have got to be The White Sox five. are the little brother. The Cubs are worth $4.1 billion. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, like, that's... That's according to that's Wikipedia. That's not even a question. Google's AI overview said that as of March 2024, the Cubs are worth $4.225 bill. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even a competition there. No, it's not. So I think that leads to the question again. Is there a potential for relocation? 
Seven gazillion percent, absolutely not. Okay. What about... Uh, what's his name? Stewart, his group in Nashville. Yep. Who de- is trying really, really hard to get a team in Nashville. What if they end up buying the team? Then what? Then are they... I mean... They're trying to get a new stadium in Chicago. Same same thing with Manfred being tried for treason. Same thing. Story I franchise. Agree. Been around too a million much history. years. Too much history. Too much rivalry. Too much, too much, too much. Nope. Not having it. Yeah, it's really hard it's to imagine moving <laughs> without fathom. It's too hard to imagine moving... Uh, <laughs> moving the White Sox from Chicago and putting them somewhere else. I absolutely agree with you. But, I mean, there's a lot of history with the A's in Oakland, and they were kind of like, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so I heard somebody say, I can't remember, for the life of me, and I wish I could, I've been wanting to bring this up because somebody on the uh, social media got on and said, look, here's what's going to happen. They are going to love the A's in Sacramento. They're going to eventually build up the fan base and they're going to, it's going to be a great thing for them. They're going to find out that it's a good fit. They're going to let Las Vegas approve everything and begin building a ballpark in the same location with everything. And they're going to let Vegas be one of the expansion teams while they keep the A's in Sacramento and expand the ballpark. Somebody Hmm. said that the other day and I was like, actually, that is feasible that is a that is not an outside the lines possibility that makes some sense i I could see that that would be really interesting um yeah be really fascinating uh i don't i don't know this is the other thing though is that the difference between relocating the white Sox and relocating the a's is that the coliseum is a disaster it's a mess yeah Yeah. terrible stadium no question horribly in horrible disrepair Progressive, is it Progressive Rate Field? Whatever. Some company. Progressive, Progressive Field. Yeah, uh, something. Is, that, that's guaranteed the, rate. That's the, guaranteed rate. I was, it was guaranteed because rate. Anyway. It, I think it's still guaranteed rate because I'm pretty sure the Guardians play Progressive Field. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I think it's guaranteed, guaranteed rate, rate Field is not the best ballpark. And this I was I heard this on foul territory today they were talking about this. They're like it's not the best ballpark. But it doesn't have any issues. It's not mm. in disrepair. It doesn't need major uh major repairs or renovations or anything like that. The ballpark is fine. Is it the best? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Is it good? Yes. Or I got, maybe not even good, but it's fine. Sufficient. There's nothing wrong with it's it. It's sufficient. Sufficient. Right? Sir, it's it is sufficient. It is sufficient yes. for their needs. And so I think that that's one of the reasons why Major League Baseball would not be so quick to pull the White Sox out of Chicago is because like, no, oh, you have yeah. a fine ballpark. You don't need to go get another one. If you want to get another one, build it in Chicago. You have a fan base that supports right. you, Yes, by the way. Yes, exactly. And uh, you're in an amazing TV market too. So can't beat it. Make it work. Well, it's very few can beat it. I think... I think if we're going to talk about relocation, it's not moving cities and markets. It's moving. It's putting your tent in a different spot in town. Right. Right. You're just going to pick up sticks and move to the other side or something, Mm -hmm. but it's going to stay in Chicago. That's a stupid proposition. I think foolish. Yeah. I think they'll stick around too. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for them to go anywhere. There would be riots in the streets. 